The Apache RR 310 has been TBS's flagship motorcycle for years now. It first arrived in 2017 and has got constant upgrades to keep it more relevant than ever. With the latest iteration, the upgrades have only gotten better. More power, better performance, more electronics and slightly pricier too. So what do we make of those changes? Well, we are at the coast racing track in Coimbatore to ride the motorcycle and tell you all about it. Welcome to HT Auto. My name is Samir Contractor and let's get riding the 2024 TVS Apache RR310. The first full-fed TVS has been an example of the brand's engineering prowess and the latest updates only aim to improve the overall riding experience, packing a little extra for everything available. The design language remains unchanged with the shark-inspired styling first showcased on the Akula concept. There is a new bomber grey paint scheme that looks eye-catching in addition to racing red. You also get the TVS racing replica colour scheme, albeit at a premium. The small yet notable visual upgrade is the new transparent clutch cover with a red copper plate that adds a spotty touch. The new winglets are a major addition to the design. Mounted on either side of the fairing, it's a first for any mass market motorcycle. Now you would think what are winglets doing on a 310cc or 312cc motorcycle? Now we've seen winglets on MotoGP bikes, on litre class machines and yes, they do play an important role when it comes to downforce at the front. It does something similar here, in fact it creates downforce uh, at speeds over 120 km per hour and that's where you'll see the big difference. Uh, out on the track where you're doing higher speeds more consistently, I do think this would be a nice addition if you're getting one. Uh, out on the road though, yes, it may feel slightly out of place, I do think they protrude a lot. Uh, so damaging that would be something you may have to be extra careful about. But uh, out on the track, I think when it comes to sheer performance, I'm glad that TVS is offering winglets on its motorcycle. The ergonomics remain unchanged on the 2024 RR310. The riding position is dedicated but more upright. The foot pegs are slightly centre set and allow for a more comfortable riding posture. The seat has just the right cushioning and enough space to move around to keep you comfortable. The bike also gets adjustable levers this time. The new Apache RR310 gets the same 312cc liquid cooled single cylinder engine. However, it now gets a forged piston that's 10% lighter. It also gets a bigger airbox by 13%. The result is more power and torque. It now makes about 37 bhp and 29 Nm of peak torque paired with a 6-speed gearbox. Now, the sum of the changes is that it's incremental. It's not a big update, but incremental power upgrade and that works really well. Now, uh, the course track that we are on today is has nice uh, fast flowing corners and it really helps carry that speed because the chassis is the same and phenomenal. So the more power it you allow it to have, the more it can do with it. And in that sense, uh, the engine is now better married to that chassis and that really works well because you're carrying more speeds. It's The power delivery itself is much linear and I do like the way the bike feels, especially in the track and sport mode where you get to maximize the power and torque figures. Vibrations have been worked on and are better stabilized over the years. You do feel mild buzz around the foot pegs and handlebar and that does drop away some of the riding experience. So one of the key highlights of the RR310 is its chassis itself. It's a fantastic chassis right from the start. The effort around the corner is just minimal from the rider because the chassis does so much of the work. In fact, I would say that about 60% of the work is done by the chassis itself and all you have to do is just show up and ride the bike like you do because it's so well crafted, it just dives into corners. Today at Coast, we've been really giving it uh, the corner treatment and really having fun with it very honestly because uh, for a fast flowing uh, track like this one, you need a bike that can handle more power. Now the bike makes more power and it can do with a lot more and I think that's the kind of confidence you would want from a motorcycle like this. So anybody who's starting out looking for a versatile track bike I think that's where the Apache RR310 really comes to its own and that's what I like about it. The 2024 Apache RR310 gets race-tuned dynamic stability control and features a segment-first 6-axis IMU 
that brings a host of electronic aids including cornering ABS, cornering traction control, cornering cruise control, wheelie control, slope dependent control and rear lift off control. Many of these features intervene at the right time. So cruise control is easy to engage, you just uh, push a button and anything above 50 km per hour will engage properly. You also get cornering cruise control which essentially means you dive into a corner and the bike will immediately shed speeds and then go back again to the set speed as you want it. So you, the input on the throttle is minimal. At the same time you get a bi-directional quick shifter which works flawlessly. In my opinion today we had a lot to do uh, with good riding thanks to that quick shifter and it worked perfectly. At the same time, you get a 6-axis IMU which brings a whole lot of other features. Now, TVS has developed this with Bosch. So you do get cornering braking control, you do get uh, rear lift mitigation. That's something we tested out where uh, under hard braking, the uh, rear uh, lift mitigation worked really well and intervened at the right time. So you do see incremental changes across the motorcycle thanks to the new electronics and just makes this a lot more rideable in a, such a good fashion. The bike also gets a tyre pressure monitoring system, while the vertical instrument console gets an updated Smart Connect Bluetooth interface with navigation, music and call functions and more. Braking performance remains potent with the same setup as the older model and is par for the course. We've liked the Apache RR310 in its previous forms as well and to see incremental upgrades are always a nice thing. This is a very likeable motorcycle and barring the refinement issues, I think it does so much so well that it's easier to recommend anybody who wants to start uh, track-based riding or just wants to explore what a good motorcycle can do uh, in that 310 to 350cc segment. And in that sense, if you are looking for one, well, prices start at 2,75,000 rupees you get a whole lot of customization options. So yes, there's the non-bi-directional quick shifter version. There's a one with that. There are two paint schemes. There's the BTO option, which is a dynamic kit and a dynamic pro kit, which brings that whole set of electronic aids. And of course, there's a race replica color scheme. So plenty to choose from. And yes, I do think this is the nicer motorcycle and retains its flagship element that we've always come to like in the TVS family. What do you think about the new TVS Apache RR310? Let us know in the comment section below. And what other motorcycle would you like to see the reviews of? Drop in those thoughts in the comment section again. And as we always say, helmets on a two-wheeler, seatbelts in a car. My name is Samir Contractor. This is HG Auto. We'll see you in the next one.